वेलकम बैक लैंग्वेज इंथोजियास्ट बिल्डिंग ऑन आवर लास्ट लेसन लेट्स डेल्व डीपर इन टू द ब्यूटी ऑफ लैंग्वेज एंड कल्चर टूगेदर नो लेट्स गेट टू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ चाइनीज फोनेटिक्स ओके विच इज इनिशियल्स एंड फाइनल्स ओके वी हैव लर्न दैट इनिशियल्स आर लाइक कॉन्सोनेट्स एंड फाइनल्स आर लाइक वॉवेल्स ऑफ चाइनीज ओके Okay now there are some initials and some finals we will learn how to pronounce them okay now the first initial about which we are going to learn here is zh okay so how to pronounce zh okay so the rule is saying that you have to pronounce zh just like you pronounce the the dge part of judge okay the dge part of judge and or the ge part of george okay how to pronounce zh we have to pronounce zh just like we pronounce the dge part of judge or ge part of george okay j j isn't it so but one one aspect more that when you are pronouncing zh the tip of the tongue should be on the roof of the mouth as you say it okay so this is the rule about zh okay zh is pronounced what did we learn zh is pronounced just like you pronounce the d g e in judge or g e in george okay and one aspect more that you have to take care the tip of the tongue should be on the roof of the mouth okay so j j okay let's take an example <clears throat> okay jungguo okay how to pronounce it jungguo jungguo okay so we learned that zh is pronounced just like you pronounce the dge in judge okay and the tip of the tongue should be on the roof of the mouth okay and by the way chungguo means china okay and you already know that g is pronounced like k okay that's why chungguo chungguo okay so uh, zh is clear to you by now now the second initial which we are going to learn here is ch okay we also saw how to uh, we also saw some example one example how to pronounce zh now let's talk about ch so ch is pronounced just like the ch in peach or church okay how to pronounce ch ch in chinese the syllable ch in chinese pronounce the same way as the ch in peach or church okay but there are two rules okay tongue is curled up and back okay so you have to ensure these rules okay if you are not ensuring these rules it means you are not pronouncing the correct way okay so what are the two rules the first one is tongue is curled up and back as you say ch and the vocal cords should vibrate okay so p let's take an example to make it more clear okay c h i okay how is it pronounced how to pronounce okay so ch is just like the ch in peach or the ch in church okay and two rules are tongue is curled up and back and the vocal cords should vibrate okay so the example which we took is ch okay c h i ch so we have to take care that our as we say ch ch our tongue is curled up and back and our vocal cords are vibrating okay so 
ch ch okay once again ch ch okay so you have to ensure that your vocal cords are vibrating when you are saying it okay so i hope ch is clear to you what was the rule it, it says that you have to pronounce it the same way as you say it in say it in the say the ch in peach or church okay that there are two rules you have to make sure that you are following them to pronounce it correctly and by the way ch means to eat okay so i hope ch is clear to you now the third initial which we are going to learn here is sh okay now what is the rule about sh just like sh in bush or sheep okay how do you pronounce sh just like the sh in bush or sheep okay so it's relatively easy okay you have to make sure that you pronounce just like the sh in bush or sheep to say sh okay to say sh okay here again there are two rules okay the first one is vocal cords should vibrate the second rule is your tongue is pointed up and back okay so when you are saying sh you have to pronounce it just like the sh in bush or sheep the two rules are vocal cords should vibrate and the tongue is pointed up and back okay so let's take an example okay to make it more clear shoo okay shoo okay when you are saying shoo you have to ensure that your vocal cords are vibrating and your tongue is pointed up and back shoo shoo okay so here we saw that our vocal cords is vibrating or not okay shoo shoo okay so shoo with a four, with a first tone it means book okay so by this example i hope sh is clear to you okay you will have to take care of the two rules that the vocal cords are vibrating and tongue is pointed up and back so once again shoo shoo okay now the next initial which we are going to learn here is r okay so r is relatively easy okay there are no particular rules okay let's take two examples to make it more clear okay the first one is r r okay together r r r r r okay and what are their respective meanings okay so r r okay so the first one means hot or warm okay and the second one means sun or day okay so uh, r is relatively easy okay we saw two examples how to pronounce r the first the, the first one is r r so about r we learned that how to pronounce r and we took two examples to show it okay the first one was r 
r okay the first one mean hot or warm and the second one means sun or day okay so once again r r okay and both are in the fourth tone okay so i hope r is clear to you now let's get back to the fifth initial which is z okay so uh, what is the rule about fifth what is the rule about z okay so it says it should pronounce that so z should be pronounced like the ds sound in the word yards or kids okay what is it saying it is saying that z is pronounced like the ds sound in the word yards or kids okay so let's take an example to make it more clear okay so we we saw the example just a while ago sai jian okay and it means goodbye so how to say sai sai okay it is saying that you have to pronounce it like the ds sound in the word yards or kids okay so zai jian okay zai zai okay let's take one more example zi ji zi ji okay and what does it mean it means one self okay so how to say z what is the rule saying it is saying that you have to pronounce it like the ds sound in the word yards or kids okay so one one example was zai jian zai jian okay now i hope z is clear to you let's get back to the fifth initial the fifth initial which we are going to learn here is c okay so you have to take care about c because c is a uh, a bit a bit more c has some rules okay so it is saying that like the ts so what is the rule about c how should you pronounce it it is saying that like the ts at the end of tests or its okay but you have to take care here that in in english you are not you are not used to saying this at the beginning of the word you are used to saying it at the end of the word okay so you will have to practice it okay so what is the rule saying like the ts at the end of tests or its okay so you have to practice it because in english you are not used to you are not used to saying it at the beginning of the word now the rule is one rule is that it should be aspirated okay when you are saying c it should be aspirated it means that air is moving outwards okay if air is not moving outwards when you are pronouncing it it means you are pronouncing it wrong way in the wrong way okay let's take an example sai okay so repeat after me sai sai okay so we took care of two things okay the first was she c should be pronounced like the ts at the end of tests and the other aspect was that we should ensure that air is coming out of our mouth okay so sai with a fourth tone is like sai sai okay and it means sai means vegetable okay one one more example okay about s is cha suo cha suo okay so if you have to take care of about two aspects it is like c is pronounced like the ts at the end of tests and it should be aspirated okay means air should come out of your mouth okay cha suo and it means bathroom or toilet okay so here the meanings are not that 
and much important we have to take care how to pronounce c okay so i hope c was clear to you the two rules it is pronounced like the ts at the end of tests and it is aspirated okay so no let's get back to our last initial of today's class okay which is s okay so s what is the rule about s there is no special rule about about s okay just like the s in english okay so it's very easy okay just like the s in english okay let's take two examples the first one is san the second one is s so now you learned in previous sessions like that san with the first tone means 3 and s s with a fourth tone means 4 okay okay so there are no special rules about s just like the s in english and two examples were san san 3 s s 4 okay so we saw here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 initials and how to pronounce them okay as we conclude reflect on the progress made today next session we will unravel even more linguistic wonders keep practicing and until then happy learning